So anyway, brothers and sisters, I'm sure there are lots of reasons, and I've got some more notes here, but I think we can leave it. There are lots of reasons why people made... I, I've heard that lots of people in Montreal, Muslims are depressed in Montreal. That's what I've heard. All right? So, you know, inshallah, um, maybe we can talk about it. We can ask some questions. Why we feel that. You know, why we feel a, lot, a sense of maybe... Uh, loss of loss of control. Why we feel helpless? Why we don't feel, you know? And I'm sure there's lots of reasons. I'm sure as Muslims, we know we're under a lot of attack from the media. I mean, that's difficult to deal with, right? Maybe we feel like we're strangers in a strange land. That's difficult to deal with, right? Okay, our whole social fabric is upside down, and you know things like marriage and you know family and so many issues. Just are so difficult to deal with, especially I guess for the youth. It's so many uh, conflicting things that, to, and you maybe you might feel a sense of helplessness. But it would be good to discuss about it, because what I found generally, this is what I found generally. When I do talk to brothers and sisters, and they, you know, they come to me with these feelings and they talk about these things, very often. You know, and I don't mean this to put anybody down, right? And if you do feel depressed, I mean, if you're clinically depressed, right? I mean, there are lots of people who fall into that state. And I don't want you to think that it's because you're a bad Muslim or something like that. It's not necessarily the case. These things can, in many different ways, creep up on you in a way that you don't really... You know, sometimes we just don't think about it. And that's how it happens, step by step. It's just one of the ways that shaitan gets us. And he usually gets us with little things, a little thing here, a little thing there. He doesn't come to us and say, oh, here's a bottle of poison, drink it. You know? No, he doesn't. He's going to put the poison in the honey. Yeah? He's going to say, here's a nice sweetie. You know? <laughs> right? Here's some chocolate. Bro. Yeah? Here's a snicker bar. Right? It's just a joke with a brother who likes snickers. Okay? So, is he, where is he? He's not here. Yeah, he is there. Okay, so, you know, he's going to put the... He's going to hide the poison in something, right? He's going to make it seem sweet and nice, right? So this is, you have to understand, shaitan is trying lots of different ways to get us, right? So sometimes we fall into these things, you know? But do not despair. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always there for us. Uh, and uh, alhamdulillah, we can always remedy the situation change our way of thinking, be in control of how we react to things, inshallah. And I hope that's given us some clues. But anyway, that's it. I really just wanted to throw it up, uh, throw it open, not throw it up, but throw the floor open to you, brothers and sisters, to, uh, you know, to discuss or to ask any questions about this uh, very, very important topic. Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah You didn't really write all that down. Inshallah. <laughs> Jazakallah khairan ya Sheikh Sheikh Abdul Rahim Green. Um, inshallah, right now we're going to proceed to a question and answer session.